Hey guys, um, so we never thought we were going to have to make this video, but um, there have been some rumors circulating online uh, about our relationship, and they're really bad, so we just decided to make this video and tell you guys the truth, like tell you our story. Yeah, and I feel like the only way for us to kind of explain everything is to take you guys back to about a year ago. Um, about a year ago, I created an account on this app called Bumble, where you can kind of meet new people and meet up with them and chat with them. And on my profile, it said I was 18 years old, and at the time I was 17. I think it was one or two months before I had turned 18 at that point. And I ended up matching with Brandon, and we started talking and immediately just clicked. He was really cool, and so we decided to get some food and hang out a couple times. Yeah, and, and when we were hanging out, I kind of gathered that we felt like more friends than anything else, um, because she was really cool, and I liked hanging out with her. Mm -hmm. And so, um, the third time that we hung out, we were going to the movies, and my friend David, who vlogs, he decided to join us and try and film it and make a bit out of it. And so, we're in the car, all three of us, and we start making these jokes. And some of them are about sex. And it was weird because we hadn't had sex at that point. We did not sleep together. And so we were making these jokes and th they are very inappropriate because I didn't know she was 17 and neither did David. So in hindsight, it, it looks really bad. And we would have never made those jokes had we known. Mm -hmm. And so we make the jokes, um, we drop David off, we see the movie and then the next night, I see that the video is posted, and I go to the comments, and one of the first comments is from a girl that said she went to your school, like a long time ago, mm -hmm. and she said, I knew Lacey in school, she was born March 1st, 2000, she's 17 years old, and I read that, and I just went, oh, oh my god, like... Yeah, the, just especially with the whole video, the whole entire situation just looked really bad. It looked terrible, and so... I called you and I asked, is this true? Yeah, and I said, yeah, it's true. I understand if you never want to talk to me again, if you never want to see me again, it's fine. And I just, I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. So I, I called David and he just was like, dude, everything's fine. They're just jokes. No one's done anything wrong here. It's okay. And I said, okay. And I called you back and I was like, we can't talk. For a week until you turn at 18. least until I turn 18 yeah and and that's what we did we waited a week uh, March 1st came around it was like the day after March 1st that we met up and got all of our grievances yeah, out. we just cleared the air and kind of talked everything out and I kind of decided that like since we had been hanging out for like it's probably like a month before then mm -hmm. I just didn't want to throw away like our relationship and I was like okay so let's keep hanging out and just be friends for a little yeah. bit. And shortly thereafter, we started seeing each other romantically and now we're in a loving relationship. Yeah. And, and we're both happy and healthy and we love each other. And we just kept seeing each other and like, that's the whole thing. We're, we're just in a relationship and yeah. that's the story. There's people have been blowing this thing completely out of proportion and I can understand why, but with with our story like it's okay like we i'm 24 you're about to turn 19 in two weeks i'm 19. like there's there's no problem here like at all and that's it we just wanted to clear everything up clear the air and also another rumor that i kind of want to address is um, people ended up digging through my social medias and stuff like that and they ended up finding my linkedin and on my LinkedIn, it says that I had been working for Brandon as his personal assistant since January of 2018. Yeah. And that's not the case. What happened was when we were officially together, we um, I just ended up helping him with, I brought him some food and stuff like that to like his shoots and stuff and just helped him with a couple notes. And um, I put it on my resume and said January because that was when we met just to make it look a little better on my resume. But so I, I'm not working for him, you're not my boss, I'm not on payroll. There's nothing, I, I don't give her money every week. There's no, nothing's, it's just, it's it's really crazy to both of us and silly that mm -hmm. all this is being 
I don't know, like... People just assume things, and it's really disheartening, just as the people who are involved in this situation. Like, we are real people with real lives and real relationships, and it's just a in total invasion of privacy. And that's that's it. I mean, we, we just... We want to thank people that have been, like, supporting us through this whole thing. Thank you, guys. Um, because, once again, we just think it's really silly, and that's... That's it. I mean, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know how to end the video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, thank you for watching, and bye! bye. <laughs>